Welcome back, everyone, to the Laser Games. Last week, we showed you our contestants. Let's go down the rundown, shall we? Alright, so Fury got a 9 out of 10 for his ferocity and raw skill. Dewey scored a 2, but that's only because he played, like, what, 4 games since he first started? Nightshade received a 7 out of 10 for stealth and tactics. Glitch, our special ability specialist, scored a 6. Sucker Punch got a 9 out of 10 for knowing martial arts, because that's completely relevant. Hey, you hush. Ray scored a 7 with swag alone. Thrash received a 5 out of 10 for his overly aggressive gameplay. And Bone Crusher, a 3. Alliance. Wow, this is looking like a pretty good laser games right now. We got contestants from all across the board here. Yep. So far, it looks like it's though Dewey and Ray have already formed an alliance. A very smart move. You know, there can be only one victor, but it's always good to have allies, especially this early in the game. Let's take a look at the map. So right here is where the players are starting, in the open space of the first floor. Up here, we have the second and third floors, likely the safest places to be with all the height advantage at all. Down here, we have the outskirts of the first floor, and in the center, the catacombs. Let me tell you, it's pretty easy to get lost in those catacombs. Oh, looks like the game's about to start. Let's see what happens, Adam. All right, everybody. I want a good, clean fight. Be responsible, Dewey. Otherwise, good luck. And may the laser ever be in your face. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <sighs> From the dawn of time we came, moving silently down through the centuries, struggling to reach the time of the gallery, when the few who remain go back to the last. <laughs> Bought Fury to get the first elimination. Fury gaining all zero of Bone Crusher's points. All right, let's get back to the game. We have a lot unfolding here in the first couple of minutes. Wow. Thrash has already taken the top floor from himself and is holding his ground. Glitch and Nightshade both seem to want some of that top floor action. The height advantage is certainly something that you want in this game. But Thrash is not having any of that. Let's check in on him. Hey, Thrash, it looks like you have a nice setup there on third. Yeah. It's all about getting to the top first, you know? You think you can keep it up all the game? Oh yeah, got this game in the bag. Once you're at the top, it's real hard to lose it. Well, best of luck with you on that. Let's check in with some of the other players. Sucker Punch, what is up? Oh, 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 he's being a ninja. We'll, we'll come back to you. Dewey, no sitting. Who said that? It's us, the commentators. What are you doing on the floor? Uh... I got, I got lost in the maze, so I figured I'd just stay here. Do you know how to get out? I hear some commotion close by. Looks like Ray and Fury are in a skirmish. Where you at? Thanks, bro! I'm on my way, I'll be right there! Thanks, dude. Don't want to be in the lands with me and Dewey? Yeah, sure, let's go find him. Thanks. I can't believe it. I never thought Fury would ally with someone like that. That sure is a deadly combination right there. Fury's skill and Nightshade's strategy, they could be unstoppable. Well, let's just see how true that is on next week's episode. Boy, am I excited. 
If we look up at the scoreboard, we can see that Fury already has two eliminations before anyone could get any. That's because we got a three-way alliance on the first floor between Dewey, Ray, and Sucker Punch. What do you think, viewers? Who will come out on top? Are these alliances going to hold? Tune in next week and find out. We'll see you then.